Hurry up, Schnooky! Light that match! I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying, Dr. Meadows. But it's raining so hard. Come on, Schnooky, hurry up! Come on, please! Light the fuse! I got it! Schnooky, start the countdown. Yeah. And Dizzy? Yeah, Doc? Yeah. Hurry! Hurry, get into the satellite! Hey! Sure thing, Doc. Did you remember to put the salami sandwiches in? Of course, of, of course. Oh, Hurry up, Dizzy, get in! What about my sitter? I've got the safe Phyllis Adarek, you know? Why, everything's there. Oh. Just get in! And put on your seatbelt! A satellite has taken off, it's really climbing fast. The neighborhood way down below still shaken from the blast. And in the Mito satellite, Dizzy's all alone. Going round and round up there, cause space is now his home. in orbit, he's ready for the flight, turning all the dials and watching all those flashing lights, Schnooky and the doctor will be working down below, pushing all the buttons that make the thing go. Good morning, and welcome to the 6 o'clock morning news, Henry Whiffen Fiffle reporting. Our lead story this morning concerns an unexplained and mysterious blast that occurred only a few hours ago at the corner of 14th Avenue and 56th Street in the Borough Park section of Brooklyn, New York. At this time, no one knows what caused the blast, and the only clues police have been able to find are three new bottles of ketchup sitting on the sidewalk next to the burn mark. In other news this morning, police are still searching for 17 monkeys that escaped from the Central Park Zoo. Police believe that the monkeys are hiding out somewhere in the park. In the borough of Queens, angry shoppers at the Kew Garden Hills A&P are demanding an explanation why there are no bananas in the fruit section. Store officials have no answer to the mysterious shortage and are scratching their heads for an explanation. Schnooky! Yes, Dr. Meadows? We did it! No one saw the rocket! We have launched our satellite! Yeah, we did it. We really did it. Uh, why did we do it? Snooky, don't you realize what we can do now? With our meter satellite, we can now see whenever Jewish boys and girls are about to make a mistake with their meters, Chazre Shalom. And before they do, we can help them with our marvelous meters machine. Oh, boy, Dr. Meadows, that's great. Uh, but... What are Midos? What are Midos, Schnooky? Midos are... What's that? Oh boy, Schnooky! That's the telefibrillator, telling us that the Midos headlight is in orbit. Dizzy! Dizzy, can you hear me? I hear you just fine. Hey, Doc, do you realize that I'm the first Yeshiva Bokhar in outer space? Wow! What a view! Dizzy! Is the satellite working all right? Everything's fine up here, Doc. But, uh, are you sure you packed the ketchup? I can't find it anywhere. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. But I have a surprise for you. Look in the glove compartment. Oh, boy. I love surprises. Wow. My favorite food. Chocolate-covered pickles. Gee, thanks, Doc. Well, I'll talk to you later. Over and out. Okay, Schnooky. It's time to turn on the marvelous Midas machine. Is it this button? Yeah, that's the one. Oy vey. It's not working. Something's wrong. Hmm. I must have forgotten to connect the Senefrets to the Grubs link. No? They're connected. Uh, Dr. Midas. Uh, may maybe I forgot to hypercharge the visiting. No, that, that's okay, too. Uh, Dr. Meadows. Uh, it, it must be a loose wire in the Google Dr. Lighter. Meadows. Schnooky, can't you see I'm busy? Uh, don't you have to put in the plug? The 
plug? That plug? Oh, the, the plug! Yes, Snooky, put it into the vault! The vault! It's working! Midos alert! Midos alert! Already a Midos alert? Uh, what are we gonna do? Don't worry, Snooky! The computer will tell us everything we need to know! Just watch the screen! Hey! I see a little boy and a little girl! They're sitting at a kitchen table, eating breakfast! Who are they, Dr. Midos? One second! The computer will tell us! Aha! Uh -huh. It says their names are Mandy and Mary. They're twins and they are six years old. Snooky, turn up the sound. I want to hear what they are saying. Mary, I'm gonna have cornflakes. Do you want some too? Yeah, I want you to pour me a lot. Mary, please go get the sugar. Okay. Give me the sugar. I want to pour it. No, you pour the cornflakes. I want to pour the sugar. Okay, you pour, but make sure you give me a lot. I'll go get the milk. Mary, it's too heavy. Come help. Okay, you got it? You sure you got it? Now lift it up. Careful, careful. What are we gonna do? I don't know, but Mommy's gonna be so angry. Let's go back to bed. But Mommy's gonna wanna know who did it. Well, I won't tell if you won't tell. Snooky, did you hear that? Yeah, Dr. Meadows. Menti and Miri are about to tell a lie. Quick, turn on the sound projector later and aim it at the kitchen. I'll get the MS tape. Ah, here it is. Snooky, put the tape in and press the send button. Okay, Dr. Meadows. What's that, Miri? I don't believe it. There's music coming out of the cornflakes box. Who spilled the milk on the kitchen floor? Not me. Not me. Who took a pen and wrote on the wall? No, it was not me. Who let in the neighbor's cat? Not me. Not me. And who sat on my shopper's hat? No, it was not me. Midrash Eketir Chok Never tell a lie Hashem knows just what happened There's no reason to deny Honesty is MS Make sure all your words are true So Abba Ima and Hashem Will be so proud of you the milk on the kitchen floor? We did, Mommy. Well, you both know where the schmatis are. Please go get some and wipe up the mess you made. Okay. But, Mendy, Miri, I want you to know I'm very proud of you for telling the truth. Snooky, it works! Baruch Hashem! Did you see how that song made them tell the truth? I'm so excited! This is terrific! Uh, you know, Midos. all the kids need is just a little reminder now and then. Uh, Dr. Meadows? Yes, Snooky, what is it? I'm hungry. Do we have any cornflakes? Boy, Dr. Meadows must be so tired. He 
fell asleep right here at the computer. I'm going to move him over here and put him on the bed. There, Dr. Midos. I'll take care of everything. Oh, no. What am I going to do if there's a Midos alert? I saw Dr. Midos run the machine, but I never did it by myself. Midos alert. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, oh, oh. When Dr. Midos heard the alert last time, uh, I think he pushed this yellow button. Uh, no, that's the popcorn machine. Oh, oh, wait. It says on the screen, push the green button. Yeah, that's the right one. Here comes the picture. It looks like the young boys from the neighborhood playing baseball in the park. all alone with his head down. If Ruve knew how bad Salman feels, he never would have said those things. I've got to show Ruve what he did. Wait a minute. What's this orange button? It says Mind Reader. I can send Salman's thoughts right over to Ruve. Ruve! Who's that? Ruve, there's something I want you to hear. Who's talking to me? What's going on? Just listen, Ruvain. You really need to hear this. I always try so hard to do my very best, but I never learned how to play the game. So why does everybody make so much fun of me? I'm feeling so ashamed. Oh, how one would be my friend and accept me for the way I am and together we could play and share if only somebody would care Zalman, Zalman, wait up! I have to tell you something! What do you want, Ruvain? Zalman, I'm really sorry for making you feel bad. I realize now what I did was wrong. I shouldn't have said those things. I'm sorry too, Ruvain. What are you sorry about, Zalman? I'm sorry I struck out. Oh, don't worry about that, Zalman. It was only a game, and that's not important. Let's be friends. You mean it, Ruvain? Really? Sure I do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you how to hold the bat so that next time you'll hit a home run. Okay? Oh, boy! Great! Wow! Look what I did! I got Zalman and Ruven to be the best of friends! And I did it all by myself! I'm a genius! I'm really great! I'm really terrific! Me, Snooky Shapiro! Midos oh, alert! Oh, no! Midos Another alert! Midos alert! I wonder who did something wrong this time! Hey! That's me on the screen. And the computer says to play the Gaiva tape. Uh-oh. I guess I better play it. Hey there, Mr. Showoff. You think you're really great. Now listen, Mr. Showoff. You're making a mistake. Hey there, Mr. Gaiva. You think you're really hot. Now listen, Mr. Gaiva. I'm sorry, but you're not. Hey there, Mr. Mountain, standing there so tall. Don't brag because you think you're big, you're not that big at all. Cause there's a tiny mountain that said it wasn't high. That's why we got the toy wrong, little Harsinai. The Tyra says be humble and 
everything you do If you're strong or smart or beautiful It's not because of you All the good things that we have come from above Anonov knows Hashem is giving him these gifts with love Hey there, Mr. Showoff, you think you're really great Now listen, Mr. Showoff, you're making a mistake Uh, you were sleeping in the chair, so I put you there, Dr. Meadows. But what, what is all this popcorn doing around me? I'm buried in popcorn. Uh, I guess I turned on the popcorn machine by accident when you were asleep, Dr. Meadows. Uh, I forgot to turn it off. I'll turn it off now. But what, what are we going to do about this mess? Uh, I'm going to eat it all up. There's somebody at the door. Who could it be? Uh, I don't know, Dr. Meadows. Uh, who is it? Open up. This is the police. I better get the door, Snooky. Yes? What is it, officer? Is this your house, sir? Yes, it is, officer. Is, is there something wrong? There are some very big antennas on the roof of this house. Do they belong to you? Yes, they do. Do you have a license for all this equipment? A license? I didn't know I need a license. Well, then I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to take down those antennas and shut off your computers right away. You mean turn off the marvelous Meadows machine? What kind of machine did you say? Meadows alert. Meadows What's that? Alert. Come in, officer. Let me show you what the marvelous Meadows machine can do. Dr. Meadows, I see two boys on the screen. They're at the zoo. Look at that big gorilla. <laughs> hey, the boys are walking over to the hippopotamuses. Turn off the sound, Schnooky. <laughs> Barrow, look at that funny looking hippo. He's waking up and coming out of the water. Whoa, I never saw anything so fat before in all my life, Slimy. Hey, Barrow, do you still have that water gun I got you for Hanukkah? Oh, uh, yeah, Slimey. I got it right here in my pocket. Oh, good. Give it to me. Okay, Slime. Here it is. Thanks, Barrow. Hey, Slimey. What are you going to do with my water gun? <laughs> I'm going to screw that hippo till he gets back into the water. Hey! Don't do that! You, you leave that hippo alone! That's Tsar Balechayim! Snooky, they can't hear you. Let's play the Tsar Balechayim tape. That'll stop them. You, you mean that you can stop those boys from here in this room? Sure, officer. Just watch. Slimey, don't squirt. That hippo is singing. I'm a hippopotamus. From my top to my bottomus. And I know I'm pretty ugly and fat. Though there's not much I like to do, except to sleep the whole day through. All the hippopotami have hippopotamus feelings too. All the hippopotamuses and hippopotamisters have hippopotamus feelings. Me, what are you doing? I'm letting out the water from your gun. I don't want to hurt the hippo's feelings. Let's go buy some peanuts and feed the elephants. I'm going to be real nice to animals from now on. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. This machine is really marvelous. I'm going to let you keep these machines going. Keep up the good work. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, officer. Thank you. Doc! Hey, Doc! Did you hear me? I can hear you, Dizzy. What's up? Doc, what's that? 
What's what? What's that red and black thing I see out the window? I don't know. What does it look like? It's too far away. I can't see it clearly, but I think it's coming towards me. Dizzy, don't worry. It's probably just a shooting star or a comet. Okay, Doc. Whatever you say. I just thought I'd let you know. Over and out. Meadows alert. Meadows alert. Snooky, quick. We have work to do. What do you see on the screen? It looks like a mailman with a big package walking up to somebody's front door. The computer says that house belongs to the Fremel family in Flatbush. Snooky, turn up the sound. I got a package here for uh, Chaya and Leah from Mill. Chaya, Leah, there's a package for you. I think it's your Hanukkah present from Bubby and Zadie in Miami. Oh, boy, let me open it, Mommy. It's so big. Wow, it's beautiful. What is it? It's a computer, children, and you can learn all kinds of things with it. You can even play games with it. Can we play with it now, please? Okay. Have fun, kids. I'm going to the kitchen to make supper. Wow, look at all these different games. Let's play this number game, Leia. No, Chaya, let's do this spelling game. It's much more fun. Mommy! What's the problem? Mommy, Leia won't let me play with the spelling game. Mommy, Chaya's trying to tell me what to do. She never lets me play with what I want. I can't believe it. You just got this present and already you're fighting over it. Okay, that's it. I'm turning off the computer. Both of you go to your rooms. Oh, Mommy! Boy, Dr. Meadows, Chaya and Leia just can't seem to get along. That's right, Schnucky. <sighs> Kids are not supposed to argue and fight like that. We better play them the shalom tape. What a terrible thing, what a terrible sight. When people just argue and bicker and fight They cry and they kvetch, they holler and shout That just isn't what the Torah's about Shalom is peace and Shalom's the way A Dev Shalom seeks peace every day He always is quick to forget and forgive and that's how Hashem wants us to live. Shalom is peace and shalom the way. Eroi Nev Shalom seeks peace every day. He always is quick to forget and forgive. And that's how Hashem wants us to live. Psst, Chaya. You can play with your number game. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight anymore either. We'll take turns and we'll both have fun. Boy, Dr. Midos, that Shalom song really works. Chaya and Leia are going to play so nice together from now on. Hey, Doc, did you hear me? I hear you, Dizzy. What is it? You know that red and black thing I told you about? It's getting closer. I think it's some kind of spaceship. It's still too far away to tell for sure. Oy vey is me. A spaceship? I don't like the smell of this. I don't smell anything. What's so bad, Doc? I wouldn't mind some company. And besides, maybe they have some ketchup. Be careful up there, Dizzy. And let me know if anything new happens. Okay, Doc. Talk to you later. Over and out. Dr. Meadows, what's this tape over here? Oh, you say, Schnucky. I'm so sorry. I was supposed to play you that tape to show you what Meadows are. But I know what Meadows are now. Good Meadows are when someone tells the truth, doesn't ever embarrass anybody, isn't a show-off, is even nice to animals, and of course, never ever gets into fights, Hasbishola. I'll bet there are lots of other good meadows, too. Schnooky, I'm really proud of you. 
You understand what midas are all about. Uh, Dr. Midas, I'd still like to hear that tape. Could I listen to it anyway? <laughs> of course, Snooky. It's a great song. I'd like to hear it myself. Like a bird without its wings Or a bell that doesn't ring Like a plane without a pilot Or a heart that does not beat Like soup without a bowl Or a bagel with no hole A Jew without good meadows Is simply incomplete Meadows are the way we act And how we think and feel The Torah shows us just what we should do So if you want to do what's right And really be a mensch You've got to have good needles through and through Like a candle with a flame Or a picture in its frame Like sailing on the sea beneath The sky without a cloud like a bottle filled with wine Or a clock that's right on time A Jew that has good midos Can stand up tall and proud Midos are the way we act And how we think and feel The Torah shows us just what we should do So if you want to do what's right And really be a mensch You've got to have Gewalt! Another Midas alert! What do you see on the screen, Schnucky? I see two boys. One of them is hiding in a closet. It looks like they're playing hide and go seek. Hmm. The computer says their names are Shimon and Yehuda. Shimon is five years old and Yehuda is seven. Please turn up the sound, Schnucky. Okay, here it goes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> I'm getting warmer. You're in the closet. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, Yehuda, you got me. Now it's your turn to hide. I'm going to start counting. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Shimon, Yehuda, mommy's very tired and needs to take a nap. Could you boys please play very quietly so I can get some rest? Okay, Mommy. We'll be quiet. Hey, Shimon. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I want to read that new Alamenu we just got. But Yehuda, I don't know how to read so good. Don't worry, Shimon. I'll read to you. Thanks, Yehuda. I don't understand it, Dr. Midos. Yehuda and Shimon aren't doing anything wrong. As a matter of fact, they're being very, very good by letting their mommy sleep and helping each other. Why did the Midos alert go off? Is the marvelous Midos machine broken? Hey, Doc! Hey, Doc! Can you hear me? What is it, Dizzy? Doc, the whole satellite is shaking. Something's wrong. Nothing's working right! The satellite must be on the blink! That's why we got a wrong Midas alert about Yehuda and Jimin! Wow! Look at the size of that thing! What thing? What thing? That red and black thing! It's a gigantic spaceship! It's got a big steel mouth with iron teeth! The mouth! It's opening! Oh no! It's going towards me! Oh no! It's gonna swallow up the whole satellite! Let me out of here! Get me out of here, Doc! It's got me! Goodbye, Doc! Dizzy! Dizzy! Where are you? Dizzy, come in! <laughs> what was that noise? I face me! I give out! It's him! The meanest, nastiest, sneakiest man in the whole wide world! It's... Dr. Dumstein! <laughs> <laughs> what does he want from us, Dr. Midos? Snooky, he can't stand it whenever boys and girls do mitzvahs and, and have good midas. He's trying to stop us from helping them. Oh, wow! Look at the screen! Who's that? That's him! That's right, Midos. It's me! <laughs> My doom spaceship has swallowed. 
I'm gonna your Mito satellite. <laughs> and your little friend Dizzy is my prisoner. <laughs> your marvelous Mito's machine will never work again. <laughs> oh, you mean man? You you let Dizzy go right away, or else. Or else I'm gonna. What are we gonna do, That's Dr. Right, Meadows? My friend, what are you gonna do about it? You'll never stop me! <laughs> no, Doomsday! You can't win! Good Meadows will always defeat a man like you! No, Meadows! This time I've got you for sure! <laughs> Nuki, turn off the machine! I don't want to hear that voice! I've got to think. I've got to make a plan. Doctor Midas, what are you going to do? Quick, Snooky, get me the telephone book. The telephone book? Who are you gonna call, Doctor Midas? Don't you worry about a thing, Snooky. There is the telephone. Once and for all, I'm going to put a stop to Doctor Doomsday. I've got a plan! Boy, have I got a plan! We all saw the way we act and how we think and feel The Torah shows us just what we should do So if you want to do what's right and really be a mensch You've got to have the need of through and through Professor Double Talk? Yes, yes, this is Professor Double Talk, famous scientist, world renowned inventor, creator of the hyperspace rocket engine, the anti gravity umbrella, and of course my most famous invention, pizza flavored chewing gum. And who, may I ask, is calling? Professor, this is Dr. Midas. Ah, Dr. Midas, my dear friend, how are you? How's everything? What can I do for you? How may I be of assistance to you? In what way can I... Professor, this is an emergency. I need to know if you have that invisible spray you told me you were working on. Is it finished? The invisible spray? The one that makes you vanish? Disappear? Makes you go poof? So no one can see you? Yes, yes, that's the one. Do you have it? Of course I have it, Dr. Meadows. And if you need it, you're welcome to use it. But I only have one can of invisible spray and one can of anti-invisible spray. What's anti-invisible spray? Well, uh, unless you want to turn invisible forever, you will need the anti-invisible spray to get back to normal. You're right, Professor. I'm going to need both cans. I'll send them over to you right away. The blue can is the invisible spray, and the red can is the anti-invisible spray. But remember, they're my last cans. So be careful. Don't worry, Professor. I'll be careful. Goodbye and thank you. Goodbye. Au revoir. So long. Talk to you later. Have a nice day. Uh, if someone's at the door, Dr. Mitos, I'll go see who it is. Who is it? Speedy delivery service. A package for Dr. Mitos. Well, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Goodbye, gotta run. Boy, that was fast. It's the package from the professor. Now, if this spray works, I'll be able to get into Dr. Doomstein's spaceship. And he won't be able to see me. Ah, here's the blue can. Okay, Snooky, take this can and spray me until I'm completely invisible. No, no, Snooky! Not out! You're holding the can backwards! You're spraying yourself instead of me! Snooky! Snooky, where are you? Uh, I'm right here, Dr. Meadows. 
Give out! That stuff really works! I can see you! You're completely invisible! Uh, Dr. Meadows, the blue can is empty now. I can't make you invisible anymore. What are we going to do? I don't know, Schnooky. My whole plan is kaput. I've got to come up with another plan. Uh, Dr. Meadows. I've, I've got to think of something else. Uh, Dr. Meadows. Y yes, Schnooky, what is it? Uh, why don't I go instead of you? Now that I'm invisible, I'm the only one who can save Dizzy and the marvelous Meadows machine. You're not afraid to go, Schnooky? I'm not afraid of that nasty Dr. Doomstein. He won't even be able to see me. Uh, but Dr. Meadows, how, how am I going to get up into outer space? Don't worry, Schnooky. I have a new invention. You see this capsule? It's a turbocharged teletransporter. I call it my Kvitsasa Derech machine. It can take you anywhere in the universe in just a few minutes. Hurry, Schnooky, get in! Dizzy needs you! Okay, Dr. Meadows, and don't you worry. I'm sure Hashem will help me, and everything will be okay. Now, I've set the machine to take you right to Dr. Dumstein's spaceship. Just press that button over there. And put on your seatbelt. Goodbye, Snoopy. Goodbye, Doctor Meadows. A satellite was up in space with Dizzy in control. But Dr. Doomstein came along, that sneaky, nasty soul. And he took Dizzy prisoner, turned off the satellite. He doesn't like good meadows that help kids do things right. Listen, this story's just for you. You'll learn about good needles, what's right and wrong to do. We're going on another journey like you've never seen. It's the absolutely marvelous Meadows machine. Everybody. Why don't you let me go? All we want to do is help kids with their meadows. The name is Doomstein, not Doomsburg. And the reason I'm so mean is because I've always been bad. Ever since I was a little boy, people told me I was no good. So I decided to become the nastiest person in the whole wide world. And that's why I'm gonna break the marvelous meadows machine into smithereens. I want all kids to be like me. <laughs> You're going to destroy the marvelous meadows machine? That's right, Dizzy. Right after I take a little nap, I'm gonna take you out of this cell so you can watch me destroy the marvelous Meadows machine forever! <laughs> Boy, I hope Schnooky and Dizzy are all right up there in outer space. I'm so worried about them. Give out! There's someone at the door. Who could it be? Who is it? It's Schlumpy. Schlumpy Shapiro. I'm Schnooky's brother. He told me all about the marvelous Needles machine. And I wanted to come by and see if there was anything I could do to help. Come in, Schlumpy. Come in. I'm so glad you came by. I can really use your help today. Needles alert. A Needles alert? alert. How could that be if the satellite isn't working? Hmm. It must be 
that the Middelfelder is coming from this room. That's right. Look, Schlumpy. There's a picture of you on the screen. Me? But I didn't do anything wrong, Dr. Meadows. Schlumpy, Schlumpy, just look at you. Your shirt is sticking out. Your shoes are untied. You're wearing one green sock and one blue one. And just look at those stains. I see ketchup over here. A little blueberry jam over there. Get out, Schlumpy. Didn't you know the pink messy is not good middice? I know my mommy doesn't like it, but I didn't realize it wasn't good meadows. I better play you with the Seder Vinikoyan tape. Ah, here it is. Okay, Schlumpy, listen carefully. Don't be a schlump. Don't make a mess. Don't wipe those chocolatey hands on your dress. Tie up those shoes and tuck in that shirt. Go wash your hands and face, get rid of the dirt. You gotta be neat, you gotta be clean. Let mommy take a break from her washing machine. And all Jewish children, they will be known. Say everything Does mom follow you with a mop and a pail? Cause every which way that you go, you're leaving a trail. When you go to your room and open the door, there's so many toys about you can't see the floor. You gotta be neat, you gotta be clean. Let mommy take a break from her washing machine. And all Jewish children, they will be Dr. Meadows, I'm going to try real hard to be neat and clean and organized from now on. I don't ever want another Meadows alert to go off because of me. That's terrific, Schlumpy. I'm very proud of you. Uh, I just wish that Schnooky would call to let me know he's all right. Where is Schnooky, Dr. Meadows? Schnooky's in outer space, Schlumpy. He's trying to save Dizzy from Dr. Doomstein, who hijacked the Mida satellite and kidnapped Dizzy. Get out! That must be Schnooky now! Schnooky! Is that you? It's, it's me, Dr. Midas. I'm inside Dr. Doomstein's spaceship, and I found the Mida satellite. Do you want me to turn it on? Yes, Schnooky, please! We want to be able to help kids with their middles right away. Terrific, Snooky. The marvelous middles machine is working again. Remember, be very careful up there. I will, Dr. Meadows. Talk to you later. Over and out. Meadows alert. Meadows alert. Oh, where is me? Already a middles alert. What do you see on the screen, Slumpy? It looks like a family sitting in their dining room, eating supper. Hmm. The computer says it's the Lokshin family from Lakewood. Turn up the sound, Schlumpy. Mommy, what are we having for dessert? I thought it would be nice to children if we finished the chocolate cake I made for Shabbos. Oh, boy, chocolate cake! Okay, Yankee, here's your piece. And SD, here's yours. Maishi, this is for you. Mommy, it's not fair. Yankee got a bigger piece of cake than me. This piece is bigger than mine, too. It's not fair. Maishi, SD, do you think I use a tape measure when I'm cutting the cake? I'm really not interested in hearing you fetch. I think I'll go to the kitchen to wash the dishes. Lumpy! Did you hear that? Yeah, Dr. Meadows. Those kids are being jealous of each other. And I'm pretty sure that that's not good Meadows. You're right, Schlumpy. Let's play them the jealousy song. I hope that it will teach them how wrong it is to be jealous. 
Rusty, don't leave that piece of cake, there's music coming out of it. Yankee got a bigger piece of cake than me. Honey got four candies, and I got only three. Shmoley has a brand new bike, I wish was mine. Why must I go to bed at eight when Nasty's up till nine? Do you want to know what's wrong with that? You're not happy with your share, you're being jealous Let me tell you what the Torah says Yes, we want to know So his father took him to the Yankee game I wish I wasn't Boiny Bugsy Can I get a brand new name? How can Leia eat so much and stay so thin? You must love the baby more than every Want to know what's wrong with that? Hey, you're not happy with your share, you're being jealous. Let me tell you what the Torah says. Yes, we want to know. Oh, I get it. I understand. Makes a lot of sense. You know, Yankee, I'm not jealous of you anymore. My piece is pretty big anyway. Me neither. I realize now how lucky we are. We're all healthy, Baruch Hashem, and we have lots of good things to eat. It really doesn't make sense to be jealous about unimportant things. Oh boy, Dr. Meadows! Those kids really learnt a lot from that song! The Marvelous Meadows Machine is really amazing! That's right, Schlumpy! I'm so glad Schnooky turned it back on just in time for us to help those kids. I just wish I knew what was going on up in space with Schnooky and Dizzy. I... I hope they're all okay. Psst! Dizzy! Who's there? Who's talking to me? Not so loud, Dizzy. Dr. Doomstein will hear us. Shh! Schnooky! Is that you? Yeah, it's me, Dizzy. I'm here to rescue you. But where are you? How come I can't see you? Dr. Meadows got a hold of this incredible invisible spray, Dizzy. Uh-oh, I hear footsteps. We better be quiet. What's going on here? I heard voices. Who are you talking to, Dizzy? Do you see anybody here I could be talking to, Dr. Doomsbaum? The name is Doomstein, not Doomsbaum. Now you come with me, my little friend. My laser gun is all set up to pulverize the marvelous Meadows machine, and you're gonna watch me do it. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> uh, come on, Dr. Doomsbaum. You can't really enjoy being so mean and bad all the time. Why, I bet you could be good and nice just like Dr. Meadows if you really tried hard. And then everybody would like you. I mean, really like you. Like me? Like me? You think people could really like me? If I changed and became good? But, but I've done so many bad things already. I, I've been mean for so long. It's too late for me to change. I'll always be bad. I'll always be mean. And now, now I'm going to pull a trigger on that laser gun and destroy the marvelous Meadows machine forever. <laughs> who's, who's tickling me? <laughs> Please stop! It's me, Dr. Doomstick! Look at Shapiro! And I won't stop until you promise not to blast the marvelous Meadows machine with that laser gun! I am so ticklish! Stop! Please stop! I, I, I promise! I, oh, 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 oh. Where are you, Shapiro? How did you get into my spaceship? Give up, Dr. Doomstein! Dr. Meadow said. Good Meadows will always defeat a man like you, and he was right! Watch out, Schnooky! He's going for the laser again! Don't worry, Dizzy. 
All that gun is gonna do is blow a big bubble. I just took out the laser bullets and filled it with bubble gum. I'm ruined. I'm finished. I failed again. Now kids all over the world are gonna learn about good meadows and I'll be the only nasty one around. <laughs> so why don't you change? Why don't you become good too, Dr. Doomsburger? Uh, no, no, it's too late for me. I can never change. Uh, Dizzy, I have an idea. I brought along this chuva tape. Is there a tape recorder here in this room? Yeah, there's one right over here. Great, here it goes. It seems like for so very long You've always been doing things wrong And because of your many mistakes You think there's no hope you feel it's too late Hashem is so kind He'll forgive you Each day you can have a new start Hashem is so kind He'll forgive you With tshuva that comes from the So kind and for Oh, this is wonderful! Each day I'm you gonna can become have a, a new, new star. I'm gonna do a new star. So kind and for about Schnucky. Um, uh, Sh Schlumpy, something about this room looks different to me, but I can't figure out what it is. Oh yeah, I was wondering when you'd notice. That's right, the control room does look different. It's so clean and shiny in here. Did you do that, Schlumpy? Yeah, Dr. Meadows. After hearing that song before, I decided to clean up in here and polish all the furniture and equipment. But where did you get furniture polish from, Shlumpy? I don't have any. You sure did, Dr. Meadows. 
You see that red spray can over there? It was filled with the best, shiniest polish in the whole world. It was so good. I finished the whole can. Oh, the red spray can was filled with furniture polish. I didn't know that. The red spray can. The red spray can. I get out. Oh no, Schlumpy. That wasn't furniture polish. That was the last can of anti-invisible spray. What are we gonna do, Dr. Meadows? I can't stay invisible like this. My bar mitzvah is next week. Don't worry, Snooky. I'll call Professor Double Talker right now. I'm sure he'll tell us what we should do. Hello, hello. Professor, this is Dr. Meadows again. Ah, Dr. Meadows. How may I be of assistance to you? In what way Professor, can I... Professor, your invisible spray worked terrific, Bar Hashem. But we don't have any anti-invisible spray left to make Snooky appear again. What should we do? Ah, that's a big, tremendous, stupendous, gigantic problem. There's only one thing you can do. Only one solution. Only one way out of this mess. What is it? What is it? You must find the Wookie Juki plant. The Wookie Juki plant? Yes, yes, yes. You must get Snooky to eat the Wookie Juki. That is the main ingredient in the anti invisible spray. Where can I get this Wookie Juki plant? You must go to the little village of Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo? Where is that? Mumbo Jumbo is in the Congo, in the deepest jungles of Africa. You better hurry, Dr. Meadows, and get over there right away. I will. I will. Goodbye, Professor. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Au revoir. Snooky, Dizzy, hurry. We've got to go to Africa. Oh boy, Doc. Africa. That's just as exciting as going into outer space. Let's get going! Can I come too, Dr. Meadows? I want to help! That's so nice of you, Schlumpy. But I really need you to stay here and run the marvelous Meadows machine, in case there's a Meadows alert. But I don't know how to run the machine so well, Dr. Meadows. Meadows alert. Ah, Meadows there's a Meadows alert. alert right now. Watch how Snooky and I run the machine, Schlumpy. And you'll know just what to do when we're away. Okay, Dr. Meadows. I'll watch real carefully. What do you see on the screen, Schnooky? Uh, it looks like the living room of somebody's house. Uh, the computer says it's the Mushkin family from Muncie. Uh, let me turn up the sound so we can hear what's going on. Hanala. I want you to practice your olive phase right now. It's getting late. I will, Mommy, real soon. Just as soon as I finish playing this game. Pesky, when are you going to clean up your room? I asked you to do it yesterday, and it's still an awful mess. Don't worry, Mommy. I'll do it today. But right now, I'm going to the park to play ball. Yanko. Yes, Devora. You remember the light bulb in the basement that burnt out about a month ago? Of course I remember. You still haven't changed it, and it's like Choshech Mitzrayim down there. Please, could you change it now? Don't worry, Devora. I'll do everything you ask as soon as I finish reading the paper. Snooky, did you see that? Yeah, Dr. Meadows. The Torah says we're supposed to do things right away and not be lazy. We better play than the Zrizos tape. That's right, Snooky. Let's aim the sound projector at the whole house. I'm too tired. I'm too busy. Oh, I've got these aches and pains. Oh, I've got these aches and pains. All good deeds should be done right away. 
The Torah says that you should show your happy to get up and go. Don't put off till tomorrow something you can do today. All good deeds should be done right away Hashem will always know the truth And laziness is no excuse Don't put off till tomorrow Something you can do today So be on time Instead of late The reason never hesitate Don't put off till tomorrow Don't put off for an hour Just do it right away the basement again. I've already changed the light bulb. Uh, where do you keep the garbage in this house? I'm ready to take it out right now. Oh boy! Those kids and their father are real reason now. Boy, am I excited. That's so terrific. It's wonderful. Uh, Dr. Nitos? Yes, Snooky. What is it? I think we should be the reason too and get going to Africa. I don't want to be invisible anymore. You're right. Come on, Dizzy. Come on, Schnucky. Let's all get into the Kvitsas Aderich machine. Okay. I'm setting the dial to Africa. And I'll type in the village of Mumbo Jumbo. Ah, we're ready to go. Goodbye, Schlumpy. I'll call you on the radio when we get there. Goodbye, everybody. And don't worry, I'll take care of the Minos machine while you're away. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Wow, it's so quiet here now that everyone has left for Africa. Boy, I don't like being here all by myself. I'm going to be so bored being all alone. Minos alert. Wow, that was fast. I'm going to turn on the screen so I can see what's going on. Hmm, it looks like two boys sitting on a bench in their schoolyard talking to each other. I better turn up the sound. You know, Yitzi, I'm really mad at Danny. I asked him to lend me a quarter and he wouldn't. Boy, oh boy, is he a cheapskate. Really, Yossi? I always thought that Danny was a nice guy. I guess we shouldn't be friends with him after all. Oh no! That's terrible! Those boys are speaking Russian horror! Maybe Danny didn't have any money, or he needed it for himself. And even if Danny was being stingy, Yossi's not supposed to tell anybody about it. I better play them the Russian horror song. They really need to hear it. Hey, Yossi, listen. There's music coming out of this bench. That's weird. There must be some kind of hidden tape recorder inside it. Let's listen. Before you say something bad about somebody else, even if the things you'll say are true Stop your tongue, close your mouth And think just how you'd feel If someone said those same things about you That's why Hashem gave us two lips To keep our mouth shut tight And two lobes to close our ears From hearing things not right like lush in I shouldn't have said those bad things about Danny to you. 
I feel terrible too, Yossi. I shouldn't have listened. But I've got an idea. Let's both go to Danny and ask him for Mechila. Great idea, Yitzi. There's Danny. Let's go over to him right now. Wow! Getting those kids to do the right thing was the most exciting, the most fun thing I ever did in my whole life! <laughs> I'm so happy Dr. Meadows trusted me enough to let me run the Meadows machine while he's away in Africa. Golly! I hope everybody's okay over there. I wonder what's happening with them. Boy, it's hot in this jungle, Dr. Nidos. It's too bad I didn't pack any cold drinks in my suitcase. Do you think maybe there's a soda machine around here somewhere? Don't be silly, Dizzy. Of course not. But look, I see some huts in that clearing. It must be the village of Mumbo Jumbo. Hurry, let's go there. But wait, there's Schnooky. Schnooky, where are you? I'm right behind you, Dr. Needles. Oi! This invisible business is driving me bananas! Harry, let's go into the village and ask where we can find some wookie jookie. Hello there, sir. Is this the village of Mumbo Jumbo? Oh, uh, yes! This is Mumbo Jumbo. My name is Bungo Bungo. And I welcome you to our humble little village. Tourists are always very welcome here. Can you tell us where we can find the Wookie Jookie plant? We really need it right away. Oh uh, yes, the delicious Wookie Jookie. Everybody comes here to try and taste it. But I cannot help you. You must go first to our leader, Big Chief Big Boss Wanga. That is the custom of our village. Come, I will take you to him. Big Chief Wanga, tourists have come to our village today. Hmm. Tourists, welcome. Welcome to our village. Come, sit in the shade, while Mongo goes to get you some ice cold Coca Cola from the soda machine. Gee, thanks, Chief. That would be great! So, you've come for Wookie Jookie. Well, I have good news for you. Tonight, you will be our guest at a special feast we are planning in your honor. And I promise you, you will be surrounded by the delicious Wookie Jookie plant. Bongo! Yes, Chief. Ooga Mooga Bikoswana! Booga Luga Booga Luga! What's he doing, Dr. Nidos? The chief must have told Bungo to send out a message to the tribe about the big feast tonight. Which reminds me, I promised Schlumpy I would call him on the radio to let him know how we're doing. Schlumpy, can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear, Dr. Nidos. How's everything in Africa? Everything's fine, Schlumpy. The people here are being so nice to us. Tell me, how is the marvelous Midas machine working? Just great. I already took care of one Midos alert. Midos Whoa! Alert. Midos There's another alert. one right now. Do you want to stay on the radio to hear what's going on? Yes, Schlumpy, I do. We're waiting here anyway for Chief Wanda to bring the Wookie Jookie. What do you see on the screen, Schlumpy? I see a boy and a girl in their playroom. The computer says that the girl's name is Bracha and the boy is her brother Benji. Turn up the sound, Schlumpy. Let's hear what the problem is. Bracha, here's your radio back. Thank you for lending it to me. You're welcome, Benji. But Bracha, I sort of dropped it before when I was listening to it. And it kind of like doesn't work anymore. What? You broke my radio? I'm sorry. It was an accident. How could you? I asked you to be careful with it. I said I was sorry. Don't get so angry. Saying sorry doesn't help. It doesn't mean a thing. I'm never going to lend you any of my things ever again. I wish you were my brother. Now leave me alone. Get out of this room. Oy vey, 
is me. Schlump, do you know which bad media Brache is showing? Yes, Dr. Meadows. That's chaos. You're right, Schlumpy. I can understand Brache getting upset, but she's not supposed to lose her temper like that. You better play the chaos tape. Okay, Dr. Meadows. Here it goes. Does your blood begin to boil when things don't go your way? Do you get all hysterical and start to rant and rave? Your face is changing color. You're ready to attack like a big volcano that's gonna blow its stack. Just stay calm and cool. Try not to get upset. And you'll never say or do what later you'll regret. Just stay calm and cool. Don't let your cars begin. Be strong, don't ever let your anger win. Just stay calm and cool, try not to get upset. Can you never say and do what later you'll regret. Just stay calm and cool, don't let your cars begin. Be strong, don't ever let your anger win. Benji, are you in your room? Yes, I am. But you can't come in. I don't want to get yelled at anymore. I'm not going to yell at you, Benji. What I wanted to say is that I'm sorry I lost my temper. You really are a good brother, and if you want to borrow things from me, you still can. Just try to be a little more careful next time. Oh, I will, Brock. I really will. By the way, do you think I can borrow your bike? I want to go to the park with Arya. Golly, Doctor Meadows, isn't that terrific? Rachel realized her mistake and apologized to Benji. Dr. Meadows, are you there? Dr. Meadows, come in. Where are you? Boy, I sure hope everything's okay over there. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Let go of me. Put me down. Let go of Dizzy. What are you doing to him? Why are you putting him in that big pot? Oh, you know, put me down. Let me go. Chief Belonga, what are you doing to us? <laughs> I said you would be our special guests for dinner tonight. You are our dinner. But you promised to give us some wookie juki. I said you would be surrounded with wookie juki. And you will be. <laughs> Put Wookie Chuki in the pot. Now you will taste delicious. Doc, the water is getting warmer. What are we gonna do? Don't worry, Dizzy. I have a plan. Chief Pemonga! Yes, uh, you wish to make a last request. <laughs> Pemonga? If you don't let us go, I will release the mighty power of the great Schnooky upon you and your tribe. And I will tell him to use his great magic to destroy you. I don't believe you. Bukkanabulagaya, put more wood on the fire. Hurry up, Doc. The water's starting to get real hot. You don't believe me, Buanga. I'll show you the power of Schnooky. Mighty Schnooky, make that stick rise from the ground. Now make the stick fall to the ground and lift that pail of water. Now, move that pail over to Chief Buanga and... Pour the water on his head! Mighty <laughs> Schnooky, big power, big, big power, big magic, big magic, magic. magic. Chief Bongo all wet. <laughs> <laughs> Let them go. Take them out of pot. Please, all of the mighty Schnooky. But I promise. We'll never put people in pots ever again. Then you can have all the wookie jookie you want. Everybody, come. Let's get back into the Kvitsas Aderich machine. Come on, Dizzy. You get in first. Now you, Schnooky. Please get in. Schnooky, 
Yes, Dr. Meadows. Schnucky, I can see you. The Vuki Juki worked. Baruch Hashem. Yeah, Dr. Meadows. I took a bite when we got into the jungle. This stuff is really delicious. It's even better than popcorn. Uh, uh, Dr. Meadows. Yes, Schnucky. What is it? I just wanted to thank you and Dizzy for coming along on this dangerous trip to help me. I was really nervous about being invisible at my own bar mitzvah. It is we who should thank you, Snooky. You really got us out of hot water. Yes, Snooky. You saved me twice today. Thank you. You know, I'm so proud of both of you. It's a very good meter to say thank you. To show a cross at you when somebody helps you. But now, let's get back to Borough Park. We have work to do. And I'm also working on a brand new machine that's really amazing. I'm so worried. I haven't heard from Dr. Meadows in so long. I sure hope everything's all right over there. Oh, there's someone at the door. Who is it? It's the police. I'm the officer who was here the other day. Is everything all right? Why don't you open the door, Schlumpy? Dr. Meadows, Dizzy, Schnucky, you're back. Hello? Is everything all right in there? Hello, officer. Come in. How are you today? I'm fine, Dr. Meadows. I just came by to bring you that license you need and to see if everything's all right with you and that marvelous machine. Thank you, officer. Everything's just fine. Well, that's great. I've got to get back to my patrol car. The police force is still looking for those 17 monkeys that escaped from the zoo. But remember what I said. If anyone gives you any trouble, you just let me know about it, and I'll take care of it. So long. Goodbye, officer. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Doc? That policeman would never believe what happened to us today. You're right, Dizzy. I'm not so sure I believe it myself. Uh, Dr. Meadows, I'm very tired from all this excitement. I'm going to go lie down and rest a little bit, okay? Of course, Schnucky. It's a good idea. Have a nice nap. Hmm. Where's that big, comfortable green chair Dr. Needles always keeps in this room? Uh, maybe he decided to move it down to the basement. Yeah, there it is. But how come Dr. Meadows put it inside a big plastic bubble? And what are all these buttons and dials attached to the chair? Oh, I'm so tired. I'll sit down in the chair. Hmm. Hey, I'll bet when you turn this big red key, it makes the chair tilt back just like a bed. Let me try it. Whoa! What's going on? What's happening? Where am I going? Hey, Doc. You said you were working on a new invention. What is it? Dizzy, you wouldn't believe it. But I've finally perfected my greatest invention. What is it, Doc? Tell me. You remember that soft old green chair that used to be in this room? Sure I remember, Doc. What did you do with it? Dizzy, I made it into a machine that can travel back into the past or ahead into the future. I've built a time machine. An absolutely amazing time machine! We don't saw the way we act and how we think and feel. The Torah shows us just what we should do. So if you want to do what's right and really be a mensch, you've got to have the Beatles through and through. You've got to have the Beatles through and through.
Dr. Nikos, I'm very tired from all this excitement. I'm going to go lie down and rest a little bit, okay? Of course, Schnucky. It's a good idea. Have a nice nap. Hmm. Where's that big comfortable green chair Dr. Nikos always keeps in this room? Uh, maybe he decided to move it down to the basement. Yeah, there it is. But how come Dr. Mito's put it inside a big plastic bubble? And what are all these buttons and dials attached to the chair? Oh, I'm so tired. I'll sit down in the chair. Hmm. Hey, I'll bet when you turn this big red key, it makes the chair tilt back just like a bed. Let me try it. Whoa! What's going on? What's happening? Where am I going? A time machine was on the move with Schnooky stuck inside. It's spinning all around just like a roller coaster ride. All he wanted was a nap, but now he's in a mess. It doesn't look like Schnooky will be getting too much rest. Up, up, and away, where has Schnooky gone today? Back into the past or to the future, still I know. Up, up, and away, where has Schnooky gone today? Who can help him, who can save him, will he ever get back home? All he did was turn the key, the time machine was on. Dizzy, schlumpy, and the doc don't even know he's gone. What an awful problem, his bar mitzvah is next week And wait till Schnooky finds out that the gas tank has a leak Up, up and away, where has Schnooky gone today? Back into the past or to the future, still unknown Up, up and away, where has Schnooky gone today? Who can help him, who can save him, will he ever get back home? So come real close and listen, this story's just for you You'll learn about good Midos, what's right and wrong to do. We're going on another journey like you've never seen. It's the absolutely marvelous Midos machine. And all the dials and numbers are spinning round and round. Wow! The hours and dates are going backwards. 1975, 1972, 1968. What does it mean? Uh, why is the chair shaking so much? Oh no! The dials are spinning even faster now. 1935, 1922, 1898. What's going on? Hello? Can anybody hear me? Help! Get me out of here! Uh, 1857, 1833, 1818! I've got to think of something fast and figure out a way to stop this thing! 1789, 1776, 1765... Hey! There's a pedal on the floor. Maybe if I press it... It's a good thing I found that break. This wacky machine has finally stopped. Now let me open up this plastic bubble and get out of here. I gotta go back upstairs and tell Dr. Me to... Whoa! Where am I? What happened to Dr. Miros' house? What happened to all the other houses on the block? Where's the street on the cars? 
There's nothing here but trees and grass and... Wait a minute. Let me see what the date is on the clock. It says 1736. No wonder there aren't any houses here. Borough Park hasn't been built yet. I can't believe it. Dr. Meadows turned this green chair into a real time machine. I guess this must be the new invention he was talking about when we were in Africa. Boy, I better get back into that chair and figure out a way to get back to 1988. Hey, Doc! You said you were working on a new invention. What is it? Dizzy, you wouldn't believe it, but I finally perfected my greatest invention. What is it, Doc? Tell me! You remember that soft old green chair that used to be in this room? Sure I remember, Doc. What did you do with it? Dizzy, I made it into a machine that can travel into the past or ahead into the future. I've built a time machine, an absolutely amazing time machine. Golly, a time machine. You mean we could go back in time and meet Gedeulin from the past, like the Chafetz Chaim or the Vilna Goyen? Well, Shlumpy, we can go back in time, but we would still end up here in Brooklyn. You see, the time machine doesn't really move anywhere. He goes Give out! He goes we better forget about the time machine for now and take care of this middle seller. What do you see on the screen, Shlumpy? It looks like a boy in school going into the lunchroom with his lunchbox. The computer says his name is Carmen Bagelstein from Baltimore. Turn up the sound, Schlumpy. Let's hear what's happening. Look what I got in my lunchbox today. A bag of barbecue potato chips, licorice, two fruit roll-ups, a whole bunch of jelly beans, and three Wookie Junkie cookies. Now, I've just got to make sure that Mike Katzenberg sees all these goodies that I brought. Because he's going to want some, and I'm not going to let him have anything. That's right. I'll give everybody else. But when Mike asks for some, I'll tell him, you get nothing. That'll pay him back for not letting me have some of his pretzels yesterday. Ay, 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 ay. Boys, did you hear that? Golly, Dr. Meadows. Kalman is trying to get back at Moishi. He's taking revenge. Yeah, that's Nakama. And the Tyrus says you're not allowed to do that. You're right. We better play him the Nakama song. Schlumpy, do you have the tape? I sure do. Here it goes. some of your snack he said no and you decided that you'd really pay him back you were working on a map that was due in school next day when your sister spilled a soda all across the usa she said sorry please forgive me is there something i can do that's not good enough you cried out i'll be getting back at you
a bunch of goodies in your lunchbox today. Do you think I could have some? Sure, Maishi. What would you like? Oh boy, Kalman, thanks. I think I'll just take a few chips and a cookie. Oh, and let me have a piece of cookie. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out how to send this machine back to the future. Yeah. All I gotta do is turn the red key the other way. To the arrow that says forward. Oh boy, I can't wait to get home and tell Dr. Miros all about... Hey, what's that noise? It sounds like someone's chopping wood right nearby. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to spend a few minutes here in the past. Yeah, let me see what's going on. Hey, there's a boy over there, about my age, and he's chopping down a cherry tree. Timber! Hey, watch out! That tree almost landed on my head! Sorry about that. I didn't realize anyone was out there. By the way, my name is George. George Washington. Who are you? My name is Snooky Shapir. George Washington? Hey, you really must be George Washington. Everybody knows that you chopped down a cherry tree. That's ludicrous. How could anyone know that I chopped down a cherry tree? I just did it a moment ago, and nobody saw me do it, except for you, of course. Well, everybody's going to know about it, because you tell your father that you did it. What? I would never tell my father that I chopped down the cherry tree. He'd be so very angry with me. You mean you're not going to tell him the truth? Of course not. I shall simply tell him that I know nothing about the silly old cherry tree. But you just gotta tell him the truth, George. That's what makes you so famous. That's how you get to become the first president of the United States. President? Of the United what? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I can prove it. Do you see the picture on this dollar bill? I say, that looks just like me, only older. Look, my name is printed under the painting. How could that be? Who are you, and where do you come from? I told you, my name is Snooky Shapiro, and I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine. Amazing. Is it really true that I become famous? That I become president of the United Lands? That's the United States, George. And yes, it's really true. And one of the reasons you become so famous is because you never ever tell lies. You always tell the truth. Besides, don't you realize that lying is a terrible, terrible thing? You know, Snooky, you're absolutely right. It is wrong not to tell the truth. George! George, where are you? Uh-oh, there's my father now. I'm over here, father! Yeah, I think I better get back to the time machine now. Goodbye, George, and good luck. Goodbye, Schnooky, and thank you. George, what goes on here? You do chop down our cherry tree. Father, I cannot tell a lie. It was I. Well, George, it was wrong for you to chop down the tree. B but since you were man enough to tell me the truth, I shall not punish you for it this time. Thank you, Father. And Father, I must tell you about a boy I just met. His name is Snooky Ship and he's from the future. He came here in a time machine. Now, George, there you go again with that wild imagination of yours. I thought I told you. Boy, Dr. Meadows, that Nakama song really worked. Come and let Mushy have some of his snack. That's right, Snoopy. We all feel like we want to get even with other people sometimes. But we have to listen to what the toilet tells us, no matter how hard it is. Hey, Doc, do you think we could take a little trip in your time machine now? It would be even more exciting than going to Africa! I'm so sorry, Dizzy. 
But we can't use the time machine yet. There's a terrible leak in the gas tank. We might even get stuck somewhere in another century. Could we at least take a look at the time machine, Dr. Midos? Sure, boys. Come with me. I'll show it to you. It's downstairs in the basement. Midos alert. Get out. Midos another alert. Midos alert. Shlumpy, Dizzy, we'll look at the time machine a little later. But now, we have work to do. Shlumpy, what do you see on the screen? Look. There are a couple of boys sitting on a balcony, looking down at the street. Hey, they're pointing at somebody. I'd better turn up the sound. Melech, look over there. There goes Fivel Trivich. Do you remember him? He used to be in our school, but now he goes to Yeshiva's Chach Mekedem. Sure, I remember him, Shruli, but I don't know why they call that place a Yeshiva. They don't even learn in Yiddish over there. That's right, Melech. Hey, look over there! It's that kid with the funny-looking knitted yarmulke again. And looks, really, he's carrying a Gemara. Why would he need a Gemara? Hey, you see that other kid down the block, Melech? He's a Kresnitzer Chassid. You know, they don't even know how to speak English. Yeah, they're really weird. This is terrible. Those kids are making fun of anybody who's not exactly like them. Didn't they ever learn about Avas Yisroel? About how important it is to love and respect other Yidin, even if they're different? Quick, Schlumpy, we've got to do something fast. Look, Dr. Midos, I found the tape and it says Avas Yisrael on it. Should we play it for them? Yes, Schlumpy, put it into the machine and press the send button.
Melech, I don't know where that song came from, but it sure taught me a lesson. I'm not going to make fun of other people anymore. Me too, Swilly. And who knows? Maybe if you and I have Avis Yisrael, it'll help bring Mashiach real soon. Oh boy, this is terrific. Those kids now understand how important Avas Yisrael is. I'm so excited. It's so gewaldig. Dr. Meadows. It's Dr. Mami. Meadows. Yes, Schnuppi, what is it? Didn't Schnuppi say he was going to take a nap? I don't see him anywhere in this room. Hey, Shlum! I think I saw him going down to the basement. That's probably where he's sleeping. Then we better wait till Schnooky gets up before I show you the time machine. It's a terrible thing to wake someone up when they're sleeping. Ah, unless there's an important reason to do so. That's right. I learned about that in school. It's called Gezel Shayna. It's like stealing. Yeah, we wouldn't want to wake up Schnooky. He's probably way off in dreamland somewhere. Yeah, I better get back into the time machine so I can go back to the future. Okay, well, I've got my seatbelt on now. And I'll just turn the red key this way and we'll see what happens. Whoa, here it goes again. Oh boy, Baruch Hashem, it's working. The dates are moving forward. 1794, 1827, 1855. I better get ready with my foot on the brake so I can stop this machine when it gets to 1988. Wow, it's really moving fast now. 1935, 1952, 1961. Oh no, what's happening? Something's wrong with the machine. It's slowing down and I didn't even touch the brake. 1965, 1966, 1967, 1968. Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm still 20 years away from where I belong. How am I ever gonna get home? Hey, Doc, working on all these Minos alerts has really made me hungry. Do you think I can go to the pizza shop around the corner and pick up a few slices? I tell you, Dizzy, you've got such a wonderful appetite, Kenena Hogger. <laughs> sure, you go right ahead. Here's a dollar, Dizzy. Could you bring me back a slice? Sure, Slump. What about you, Doc? You want me to bring you something back, too? Come to think of it, I wouldn't mind at all having a knish. Here's a dollar, Dizzy, and thank you. Sure thing, Doc. See you later. You know, Schlumpy, with all the excitement, I forgot how hungry I really am. Midas alert. Gewau! Already another Midas alert? What do you see on the screen, Schlumpy? I see a little girl talking to her friend outside her classroom, Dr. Midas. The computer says... Her name is Malky Mesnick from Miami, and she's eight years old. Oh no, Dr. Meadows, Malky is crying. They is near. We better turn up the sound slump and find out what's wrong. Malky, what's the matter? Why are you crying? <laughs> I'm so upset. I'm so sad. When Mrs. Glick came back from Toronto yesterday, she gave me a dollar for taking care of her goldfish. And now, <laughs> I lost a dollar on my way to school today. Malky, that was the bell. We've got to go to class. Well, I'm not going. But Malky, we're starting a new Parsha and Chumash today. You don't want to fall behind, do you? I know, but I couldn't concentrate on my chumash now anyway. I'm too upset about losing the money. Shlumpy, did you hear that? I sure did, Dr. Meadows. But I'm not sure I understand what Malky's done wrong. I would be sad too if I lost the dollar. Shlumpy, sadness can be a very bad meter. Especially if you let it get in the way of doing mitzvahs. Like Malty, who's too upset to go learn Chumash. That's why the Yetzir Horror loves it when people get sad. 
It stops them from doing a void of shame. Is there anything we can do to help cheer Malky up, Dr. Meadows? Sure, Schlumpy. Let's play Malky the Simcha song. Here it goes. On your way to school, you lost a dollar today. Your best friend has the chicken box and can't come out to play. You forgot to study for your test in history. Be the Simcha anyway, it's not that bad, you'll see. What your little brother said, your mommy. Forgot your lunch and oh, it was salami. You got a brand new toy, but you can't find the batteries. Be the simcha anyway, it's not that bad, you'll see. Spoke to Tati on the telephone. Your best friend's on vacation and he left you all alone. You fell down in your shabby's pants and ripped them in the knee. Be the simcha anyway, it's not that bad, you'll see. Dr. Meadows, Malky is taking her chumash out of her knapsack and going into class. The Simcha song worked. That's right, Schlumpy. I can see she's in a much better mood already, Baruch Hashem. You know, I would be in a better mood too if Dizzy would come back with that knish. I wonder what's taking him so long. Shalom, Yelet, Boena. אתה רוצה לקנות פיצה? It costing only a quarter a slice. No, thank you. I'm not hungry. I just came in here to ask you where I could find a telephone. I have to make a very important call. Ah, כן, כן. There's a telephone boot in the back. Could you please give me change for a dollar? I need a quarter to make the call. I don't know where you come from, Habibi. But here in Brooklyn, a phone call costing only 10 cents. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Uh, thank you for the change. Boy, I sure hope I can find Dr. Meadows' telephone number. I'm not even sure he lived here in Borough Park 20 years ago. Uh, now, let me see. Here's M. Okay. Mealmart? Metzger? Mexican Airline, Midas Muffler, Meadows. This is it. Dr. Meadows, scientist and inventor. 555-5431. I sure hope he's home. He's the only one who can fix the time machine and help me get back home. Hello? Hello? Dr. Meadows, this is Shandel Shapiro, Schnucky and Schlumpy's mother. Oh, hello, Mrs. Shapiro. How are you? Baruch Hashem, I'm fine. Have the boys been behaving themselves, Dr. Meadows? Oh, they're such wonderful children, Mrs. Shapiro. You should be very proud of them. I am. I really am. 
Uh, Dr. Meadows, could you please tell Schnooky that I'm coming to pick him up in a few minutes? I need to take him to his bar mitzvah lesson. Well, Schnooky's downstairs in the basement taking a nap, Mr. Shapiro. But I'll go wake him up and tell him you're coming. Thank you, Dr. Meadows. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, everybody. I'm back from the pizza shop. Oh, very good, Dizzy. It smells really great. But, boys, before we eat, you wanted to see the time machine, no? Well, I'm going now to wake up Schnooky anyway, so come with me to the basement and I'll show it to you. Great, Doc. Right behind you. Golly, this is so exciting. I never saw a time machine before. Come out. What's going on? I know I left the machine right here in the basement. What's happened to it? Where could it be? Doc, I don't see Schnooky anywhere either. Where could he be? Oh, no. I give out. He must have sat down in the chair and turned the key, activating the machine. But I thought you said there was a leak in the gas tank, Dr. Meadows. There is, Schlumpy. And that means wherever Schnooky is now, he won't be able to get back. Poor Schnooky is lost. Lost somewhere in time. Hello? Hello, Dr. Meadows. Is that you? I'm sorry, but I'm not in right now to speak to you personally. You are listening to a recording of my voice on my latest invention, an automatic telephone answering machine. Oh, no. Dr. Minos is in home. What am I going to do? It's an emergency. In case of an emergency, however, you'll be able to find me at the Armand Terrace, where I'll be attending my nephew's wedding. A wedding? At the Armon Terrace? But I don't know where that is. If you're wondering where the Armon Terrace is, it's located on New Utrecht Avenue under the tracks. Oh, good. I know where that is. It's not too far from here. Goodbye, and thank you for calling. I sure hope Dr. Miros is at that chasana. He's the only one who can fix the time machine and get me back to the future. Everybody's probably worried sick wondering where I am. I'm worried sick about Schnooky. He probably ran out of gas and doesn't even know it. Where do you think he could be, Doc? Golly, Dr. Ritos. What are we going to do? I've got to think. I've got to make a plan to bring Schnooky back to the present. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Dizzy... You stay here in the Midos control room and run the Midos machine. Schlumpy, come up with me to the attic. That's where I have my most powerful computer. And the Bane has money time warp radio transmitter. Oh, dog, can't I come up with you too? Midos alert. The vault? There's a Midos alert right now. Okay, dog, don't worry about a thing. You and Schlumpy go upstairs and try to save Schnooky. I'll stay right here and take care of the Midas alert. That's also a big mitzvah. That's right, Dizzy. I'm really proud of you. And don't worry. We'll let you know what's happening. Come on, Schlumpy. Let's go upstairs to the attic. Oh, there it goes again. I better turn on the screen and see what's going on. Hey, I see three kids sitting on the front steps of a house. The computer says... It's the kids from the Forspice family from Far Rockaway. I'm going to turn up the sound to hear what the problem is. I'm so excited, Dina. Tati will be home from work any minute now. And today's the day he promised he would take us to Toyland. Me too, Hillel. I can't wait till he gets home. Did you decide what kinds of toys you're going to ask Tati to get you? Look, hello, I wrote down a list of all the toys I'm going to get on this piece of paper. Wow, Dina, that's a long list. I made a list, too. Here, take a look. <laughs> Your list is even longer than mine. What about little Beryl? Do you think he knows what to get? Let's ask him. 
Bella, what kinds of toys are you going to ask Tati to buy you? I'm going to get a truck and a boat and a plane and, and, and a robot. <laughs> We're going to need a truck to take all these toys home from the store. Do you really think Tati will let us get all those things? Remember what I told you, Dina. If we cry and fetch a little bit, Tati will give in. He always does. Hey, that's not good Mitos. Those kids are being greedy. They want their father to buy them everything. Well, I've got the perfect tape to play for them right here. Here it goes. Met my good friend, Mr. Katz, yesterday. He looked all upset, so I started to say, Things can't be so bad, why are you so sad? You better tell me right away. I'd be just as happy as I was before. If only I'd listened and trusted you more. I ignored your advice. Now I'm paying the price I went with all of my kids to a store You went to a store with your girls and your boys? And it was a big store A store filled with toys But I warned you not I know I forgot oh, It was a day that I did not enjoy I know just what happened, don't tell me a thing I know cause I took my kids there last spring When you got to the store and walked through the door All of your kinderlech started to sing Like I said to you before, never take kids to a store. All you're gonna hear is We want more and more. Tati is a pretty doll with shiny golden hair. I'm sorry, little Schaefer, am I a millionaire? You already have that train, I know it works just fine. But look, it's such a bargain, it's only 1999. We want cars and tracks, you see, and of course, Monopoly. See this camera, it's so nice. Look, it's made by Fisher Price. Like I said to you before, never take kids to a store. All you're gonna hear is We want more and more. Why do you need that care bear? There's one at home, I think. But Tati, that one's yellow, and this one here is pink. Do you see the storybook? It's something that I need. I'd love to buy it, Schmully, but you don't know how to read. Like I said to you before, never take kids to a store. All you're gonna hear is, we want more and more. They were crying, they were shouting. Why, I'll bet one even screamed. And you whispered, please be quiet. We don't want to make a scene. So you bought them all they wanted, more than you can afford. And an hour after you got home, they said, Tati, we are bored. But kids who have good meadows are simply not that way. They know how to appreciate whatever comes their way. Then you could even disregard all that I've said before and let them come along with you. When you go to a store Tina, what are you doing? I'm ripping on my list, Hello. I want to be a kid that has good minos. 
So I'm only going to ask Tati for one toy. Me too. Look, Tati's here. Let's go. Oh, boy. Baruch Hashem. The marvelous Midas machine did it again. This is great. I can't wait to tell Dr. Mito Schlumpy and Schnooky about it. That is... That is, if I ever see Schnooky again. Hey, excuse me, sir. Uh, do you know which table Dr. Midos is sitting at? Yeah, Mazel tov, young man. Uh, which side are you from? The Chosen or the Kalu? Uh, well, I'm really not from, from any side. Uh. By the way, uh, young man, uh, when you come to our wedding, you should get dressed a little bit nicer. And you certainly shouldn't be wearing your sneakers. But, but I just came here to speak to Dr. Midos. Do you know where he is? It's very important. Yes, yes. I think I saw him sitting over there. Table number 16, right next to the bend. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's right, Jossel. I call it the koshermatic sensor alarm. It's a tiny electronic box you stick into a pot. If the pot is flashy, it starts beeping if anything milchig falls into it. And if it's a milchig pot... Wait a second, Dr. Midas. Won't the little box get ruined when you put the pot onto a hot stove? They is me. You know, I never thought about that. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Midos. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, uh, but I need to talk to you right away. You need to talk to me? But who are you, young man? You don't recognize me, Dr. Midos. It's me, Schnooky. Schnooky Shapiro. Uh, I'll see you a little later, Dr. Midos. I'm going to get a piece of herring from the smorgasbord. Yes. See you later, Yossel. Now then, young man, I don't know any Schnooky Shapiro, and I'm sure I've never seen you before in my life. Well, that's because uh, I haven't been born yet. Oh, that explains it. You haven't been... You haven't been what? Uh, you see, I come from 1988, but I came back here to 1968 in a time machine that you built. And now it's broken and I can't get home. You mean I built a time machine in 1988? And it worked? I find that hard to believe. You just gotta believe me, Dr. Meadows. You're the only one who can help me get back in time for my bar mitzvah. I'm sorry, but it sounds impossible to me. In fact, I never heard such an incredible bubba mice in all my life. I'll never get back home. I'll never see my family again. I'll never see Dizzy again. I'll never see the marvelous Midas machine again. What did you say? I said I'll never see my family again. No, no, no. <laughs> the last thing you said. What was it? I said I'll never see the marvelous Midas machine again. How do you know anything about the marvelous Midas machine? That's a secret new invention I just started working on. Nobody in the whole world knows about it. Sure I know about it. I know all about it. It has a grip sling and a Santa Fritz and a cookalator. Amazing! You must be telling the truth. What did you say your name was? Schnooky Shapiro. Schnooky, you better take me right away to this broken time machine. We've got to try and fix it. We've got to get you back home right away. All right, Schlumpy. I've just connected the bebelizer to the Arbus dioxide sound homogenator. This should let us communicate with Schnooky. But where is he, Dr. Mitos? I know where he is, Schlumpy. He's right here in Borough Park. The correct question is, when is he? I'm going to use the Bainas Manum radio to scan through time to find him. First, let's see if it works. Capitan, the men are tired. They want to turn the ships around and go home. We are afraid, Senor Columbus. If we go any further, we fall off at the end of the earth. How many times do I have to tell you? The world, she's not a flat. She's a round. I think. But, Capitan, you promised us that unless we get a sign from the heavens, we will turn back and go home today. You're right, Luigi. 
and the Columbus always a keeper his a promise. Men, you raise the sails, turn the ships around, and we're going to go home. Oh no, Dr. Meadows. If Columbus doesn't discover America, who will? You're right, Schlumpy. I better talk to him on the Bainas Manim radio. Hello? Hello there, Mr. Columbus. Can you hear me? Hold on a minute. Wait a minute, the man. I hear a voice coming down from the heavens. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you loud and clear. Mr. Columbus, don't turn your ships around. If you keep going straight, you'll soon find land. You'll discover America. You hear that, the man? A sign from the heavens. Keep the ship straight on a course for America. America. Now that's a nice name. I like how that sounds. Hey, Doc! How's everything going up there? Everything's fine, Dizzy. The Bainas Money Radio is working great. Now, if we can just find out where Schnooky is, everything will be all right. How's the Midas machine working? Just fine, Doc! Yes. Whoa! There's another Midas alert right now! I'll talk to you later, Doc! Okay, Dizzy. Good luck! Now, let's see what's on the screen. Uh-oh! It looks like some kids have gotten into trouble. And their parents are upset with them. I better turn up the sound. I don't know what to do with you, Devora. You know it's your job to clear off the table. Why do I have to come into the kitchen and find that nothing's been done? And what about you, Chaim? I asked you to pack up these for him for our trip to the mountains hours ago. Why haven't you done it yet? Why do we always have so many jobs to do? It's not fair. Yeah, my friend Label tells me his parents never ask him to do anything. Hey, don't those kids realize there's a mitzvah of Kibbutz Avraim? They should be happy to help their parents. I guess I better play them the Kibbutz Avraim song. Maybe you say Abba Perhaps to you he's Daddy Or do you call him Papa? Do you call her Mommy? Or is she known as Ima? It really does not matter they're your mother and your father From the day that you were born They have shown how much they care They've held you close and dried your tears Whenever you were scared Worked so hard to give you Right from the very start Don't think that it's been easy But they love you from their hearts See your mother standing She's covering her eyes As she lights the Shabbos candles you can softly hear her cry Hashem, please guide my children In everything they do Yes, even in her prayers She always thinks of you Do you think it is unfair if they ever ask of you For a little time A bit of help Is it too much to do? It 
It's your turn to be unselfish It's a chance to let them know Just how much you really love them And you're proud to let it show They've been right there by your side Through the good times and the bad Laughing when you're happy Crying with you when you're sad There is no one in the world Who loves you like they do To show them every way you can They mean so much to you How much you love them too Mommy, I'm sorry I'll clear off the table right now And I'm going to try real hard to do all my jobs without complaining I'm sorry too, Tati. From now on, I'm going to be the best helper in the whole world. Oh, boy. That song did the trick. It's so important for kids to think about their parents' feelings. Which reminds me, Snooky's mommy will be here any minute. How's she going to feel when she finds out that Snooky's lost somewhere in time? Boy, I sure hope he's okay. That's the house, Dr. Meadows. The brand new one with the for sale sign on it. The time machine is in the basement. Hmm, it's a nice house. You think maybe I should buy it, Schnooky? My apartment is too small for all my experiments. Give out! Look at the price there on the sign. $35,000! For a house in Borough Park? Forget it, it's much too expensive. Uh, but you will buy it, Dr. Meadows. Uh, this is your house in 1988. Really? I guess I do. But enough of that. Let's go down to the basement. I want to take a look at this time machine. Hmm, that green chair looks just like the one I bought in Gimbal's last week. It is the same chair, Dr. Meadows. Gewalt! How did it get worn out so fast in only 20 years? Oi, they don't make merchandise like they used to. I tell you, it's such a shande. Uh, Dr. Meadows, please, you've got to see if you can fix it. I've got to get home fast. All right, all right. Let me look at this contraption. Hmm. Ah, I, I see. This wire goes here, and the battery sends its charge to this circuit. Yes. Yes, I can see how the overdrive is linked to the gefilter. And this power switch generates 5 megawatts of hypoelectricity. Yes, there's no doubt about it. I'm absolutely sure. You mean you can fix it? No, no, no. I'm absolutely sure that I can't figure this machine out. It's too complicated. I'm so sorry, Schnooky. <laughs> how am I ever going to get home? <laughs> Please don't cry, Schnooky. There must be something we could do. Wait a minute. I'll bet that Dr. Midas in the future is working on a way to get you home. That's right. I'm sure he's working on some way to communicate with you right now. Hey, Doc. How's it going up there? Dr. Midas is busy right now, busy. He's using his time radio to look for Schnucky. Wow. What year is he up to? Well, it started from about 500 years ago, because there wasn't enough gas for Schnooky to go back any more than that. And now he's up to 1965. Gosh, I sure hope he finds Schnooky soon. His mother will be here any minute. Hey, no. Yikes, I gotta hey, no. go. There's a Midos alert. I'll talk to you later, Schlumps. Okay, bye. Now, Let's see what's on the screen. Hey, 
It looks like a couple of boys with yarmulkes getting on the city bus at Main Street and Jewel Avenue in Kew Garden Hills. The computer says their names are Ellie and Mordecai. Oh no! They're rushing to grab the only empty seat. Even though there's a whole bunch of older people left standing. That's a terrible Chilul Hashem. Well, I know which tape to play to them. Here it goes. When you're on the bus and it's so full, there's only one more seat. And you rush so fast to grab it, leaving others on their feet. You just may not realize, but when people look at you, they think that you have no respect. What an awful thing to do. What an awful thing to do. When you're in the supermarket to help your mommy shop, and you zoom with your card and it crashes down the shelf with soda pop. No, there would not be a mess if you hadn't been so wild. And no one would be whispering, I'm glad that's not my child. I'm glad that's not my child. You've got to show the world what the Torah teaches you. Let everybody see how fine it is to be a Jew. And when you act that way, all oh, that your friends will do the same. Get up the bench, the car. Cause that's Peter Shashem. You were at your friend's bar mitzvah. You thought you'd play a joke So you dropped a big green olive In Gedalia Epstein's Coke The waiter looked at you and said It seems to be a fact That Jewish kids are not so nice They don't know how to act I don't mind standing. Oh, thank you, Sonny. It's so nice to see that even today there are still some children with good manners. Oh, boy! That song helped those kids do a Kiddush Hashem. That's just great. Now, if only Schnooky could get back, then everything would be terrific. Schnooky, you must be very hungry. Here, take this quarter and buy yourself a slice of pizza. There's a shop right around the corner. Oh, thank you. Uh, but Dr. Meadows, uh, what if Dr. Meadows calls when I'm away? Don't worry, I'm staying right here. But make sure you hurry back as soon as possible. I'll be back in a few minutes. Don't worry. Goodbye and thank you. Such a nice, polite boy, that Schnooky. Oh, I only wish there was a way I could help him get home. Hello? Hello? Give out! What's that noise? Hello? Hello? Schnooky, are you there? No, Schnooky's not here. 
I, I mean, he is here, but, but not right now. He just went out to get some pizza. Oh, Hashem! Did you hear that, Schlumpy? We found Schnooky. He's in 1968. Hello? Hello? Who am I talking to? This is Dr. Midas. That's right, I'm Dr. Midas, but what I asked was, who are you? I know what you asked, and I'm answering you. This is Dr. Midas. You're Dr. Midas? Schlumpy, do you hear what's going on? I'm talking to myself from 20 years ago. Oh, really, Dr. Meadows? But I'm not sure I believe it. Dr. Meadows, how are you? I mean, how am I? I'm fine. I mean, you... I, I mean, we're fine. Baruch Hashem. One minute. I think Schnooky just came back. Schnooky, Dr. Meadows is calling on the radio. Uh, Dr. Meadows, is that you? It's me, Schnooky. Please, Dr. Meadows, you've got to get me home. I know. Your mother will be here any second now to take you to your bar mitzvah lesson. But don't worry, Schnooky. All you need to do is put some gas in the tank and set the dial for 1988. But make sure it's unleaded gas. It won't work with regular. Unleaded gas? What's that? We don't have unleaded gas yet. Dr. Meadows, it's Mrs. Shapiro. I'm here to pick up Schnooky. Oh no, Dr. Meadows. My mother's here, and Schnooky's not back yet. I want to go home. Please, Dr. Meadows, help me. Schnooky, wake up. Schnooky, wake up. You're having a terrible dream. Schnooky, wake up. What's going on? Uh, Dr. Meadows, Dizzy, Slumpy, Baruch Hashem, I made it back. I was so scared. Made it back? But you didn't go anywhere, Schnooky. That's right. You've been sleeping here the whole time, Schnooky. And it's only been for about 20 minutes. Schlumpy and Dizzy are right, Schnooky. You see, Professor Doublethaw called me up just a few minutes ago to tell me that when someone goes to sleep for the first time after becoming visible again, they get very strange dreams. So we came down here to see if you were all right. You mean everything that happened to me was only a dream? There really is no time machine? Time machine? <laughs> you mean you were dreaming about a time machine? No, of course not, Schnooky. Only Hashem can be in the past and in the future. It would be absolutely impossible for a human being to build a time machine. So why is this green chair in a plastic bubble? And what are all these buttons and dials for? You see, Schnooky, this is the chair I use when I need a quick nap and don't want to be disturbed. It's my absolutely amazing sleeping machine. All you do is turn that red key and poof, you're instantly asleep. So I didn't really meet George Washington? And you didn't talk to Columbus on your Bain Asmanim radio in the attic? Bain Asmanim radio? Don't be silly, Schnooky, of course not. And this house doesn't even have an attic. I guess you're right, Dr. Meadows. It's just that everything felt so real. Yes, alert. Get out! There's a Midas alert! Boys, let's go upstairs to the marvelous Midas machine. We have work to do. Sure thing, Doc. I'm on my way. I'm right behind you, Dizzy. Uh, Dr. Midas. Yes, Schnooky, what is it? I just wanted to ask you something. Uh, when did you buy this green chair? Hmm. Let me see. I, I think I bought it about 20 years ago. And do you see what good shape it's still in? Why today, when you buy a chair, it doesn't last more than five years at the most. I tell you, it's such a shande. Uh, Dr. Mitos, uh, do you remember where you bought it? When I bought it? Now that's something I do remember, Snooky. I got it at Gimbal. We don't saw the way we act and how we think it.